Mic check one two. His lobination. Oh gosh, my face is a little bit oily. Let's rectify this. That's not oil. That's highlighter. Hey, Slow Nation! Welcome back to my channel. And today we have another DIY Wednesday. And if you guys missed out on my video last week, be sure to check those out last week. I think I made an ottoman, and then I tested out the silly sponge. And then this Saturday, I'm gonna try to test out something else, which will be really fun and interesting to try. But today we are going to be attempting to make this thingy. No, it is not a necklace. It is not a belt. It is a bra. This is how it's gonna look like on me, just like that. And my little itty bitty titties are gonna be out for the world to admire. Actually, I'm gonna wear this underneath like a really deep V-neck or a tank top or something. It's a fun little body chain detail that you can add to your wardrobe. It's a really simple DIY this week because I have a really big project that I'm working on this week, so I'm just kinda doing something simple for you guys. I hope you guys are okay with that. But all you really need is some chains, jump ring, and uh, a pair of pumps. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you are going to start out obviously with some chains. So the first chain that you're gonna need is gonna have to be able to go completely around your under bust. Think of the bottom string that's on your bikini. Go ahead and mark the halfway point of that chain and place a jump ring there. Okay, now you're gonna need two more chains that are the same length and think of it as kind of like the inner part of your triangle top from your bikini. And you're just gonna connect those two chains to the center jump ring that you marked out earlier. Okay, now to complete the triangle top, you're going to need two chains to connect to the outside of the triangle top and you're gonna connect it with the jump ring as well. Okay, now it's time to work on the straps. You're gonna cut out a piece of chain that's going to connect to the top of the triangles. And then it's gonna loop around your shoulder and connect in the back. Just a quick tip, remember to use a ruler so that you'll know where to place the strap on the other side of the top as well. And technically you are done. You can just bring the bottom straps together and add in a lobster clasp or a magnetic clasp and you can just wear it as is. However, you can continue to watch this video to see what I add on extra to my bralette. So right at the front here of the top, I'm gonna go ahead and place a chain going across the top of the triangles. And then I place six little chains that are about two inches long onto a jump ring to create a chain looking tassel. And then I just place a tassel right in the middle of where that chain is going across the neckline. And that's pretty much it. You are totally done with this simple bralette. Alright, so what do you guys think of the DIY? Would you wear something like this? And if you do, what would you wear it with? Another thing that I was having was I couldn't figure out how I was gonna model this thing on YouTube. Oddly enough, you guys, I do not like to be on camera. When you're on YouTube, you have to model the stuff that you make and you have to pose for stuff that you make and that's kind of something that I'm not really interested in. However, I would have to say that even though I've been on camera for almost a decade now, it's still uncomfortable to model the stuff that you make. However, what am I gonna do? go out onto the street and drag someone into my studio and, and be like, take off your clothes and put on this chain bralette. Uh, maybe I could do that. But yeah, I couldn't figure out how to model it, so I tried my best to do it without showing off too much. The gist is, if you're gonna try out this DIY, please send me a photo to in one of my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N because I love, I love to see you guys taking my DIYs and running with it. Also, if you like this video, be sure to like down below, share it with everyone that you know, and of course, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber equates to one fairy dust, I eat the fairy dust, and that's what motivates me to create more videos for you guys. Yeah, so let's see. Y'all know how to end my videos. Remember to always rock on Slobies. Bye! To be honest, with the amazing lens and the awesome lighting and this amazing like day lighting, like everything looks fantastic balls. Like let me tell you guys, <laughs> most YouTubers are quite cakey in real life. So I'm not trying to troll or anything, but I'm just saying that like we do kind of have our filming down to an art form. In reality, we're really. <laughs>